Good morning, guys and gals, to Rescue Mission Day 6. Our Motley crew has gotten a lot bigger in just six days, and I'm not gonna lie, coming back to seeing all these friendly faces every night makes me happy. It makes me content. Wait, whoa. What's happening here? Is this near us? The rescue command post was getting a, a bit crowded, so we started clearing a new area, and we came across something odd. A spaceship in disrepair. Huh, it's clearly missing its captain. They're probably out there somewhere in need of rescue. We'll do our best to find them. Oh. I almost forgot. We also found some raw meat while establishing the new area. It must be completely unrelated. Eat up. Dalmo, the creature guy, was asking for you. Oh boy. Um. Oh boy. Well, this is our morning routine now, and I guess this. I'm I'm kind of fine with episodes of Pikmin being this long. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna talk about that later. Why, hello. How are you? You say this every morning. Let me see the treasure. Have you ever laid eyes on something more adorable? I, for one, have not. Gazing upon its features fills me with... Is it admiration? Awe? Oh. Well, whatever it is, I recommend everyone open their eyes, their hearts, and possibly their mouths to the sublime and squeaky being. If you're a dog, you should probably open your mouth, because it- it will squeak. Not only is this glimmering gem quite beautiful, but the mineral it's composed of is notable for being highly sticky. Often given as a present to a loved one, it represents a bond that is equally adhesive. I feel like half of science, like old- m m late 1800s, early 1900s science, involves a taste test, and I feel like they're kind of in that era now. I'm kind of surprised that it hasn't been attempted. I'd do it. It takes a refined palate to appreciate all this fruit has to offer. It is at once sweet, sour, bitter, and even spicy, but those capable of pushing through the complex, slightly painful taste experience will find themselves greatly re rewarded. It's a miracle anyone tried to eat this unpleasant-looking fruit the very first time. You'd think its hairy exterior would have scared them off. Yet eat it they did, and should we all be grateful? For what, is a for what a tasty treat it is, further proof that luck favors the bold. As a kid, <laughs> I called these monkey fruit because the, the skin looks like m a monkey's. Nothing more complex than that. Is the blonde impasta simply a disguised delicacy in disguise, you might ask? Not at all. It's very much its own fruit. Spicy, oh sorry, juicy and sweet. It has even more of the terrifying vitamin Pictamin U than its green cousin. Impasta? Psh! It's as real as it gets. It's worth noting this tasty fruit's near perfection, perfect round shape, which is not unlike the face of a shrewd friend. <laughs> okay. Oh! It, that, they're referencing the president. Meanwhile, the thick skin suggests it's a survivor. <laughs> I, I'm the last of a dying breed. I'm a survivor. It's been there. So let us look at it this way. As with that friend of ours, it might take us some effort to get to the good stuff, but, oh, what a reward once we do. Was this written by Colin? Daughter Dollhead. This daughter inherited her wise look from her mother. She's lucky to be part of three generations that have handed, that have handed down only their best traits. Of course, in reality, children often inherit our very worst traits. Whose fault is that? The answer? It's complicated. I also don't know how I know that this is the daughter, or that it has inherited anything. We only have this one. 
This great bell has traditionally been rung at the end of each day, each month, and each year. And what a beautiful tone to mark the passage of time. Of course, once one counts up how many times they've rung this bell, that pretty jingle may turn into quite the startling jangle. How is it that so much time has flown by? I don't like that one. This tube of decorative blue goo is sure to inspire creativity in anyone who comes across it. It should also be a reminder to welcome new colors into your life now and then. Don't get stuck return returning to the same hues over and over again. Go wild, unleash a new you. With decorative goo. <laughs> we we'll get into that one last. Or is that last? No. Not quite last. Someone put a great deal of work into crafting this particular replica of an avian creature. Clearly, each inch, each crevice, has been infused with the sweat and prayers of its creator. But all that hard work and dedication has paid off. Behold, the aura that emanates from these folds foretells of great things to come. Perhaps happiness truly does arrive on the wings of a bird. Starting school, getting a new job. People in ancient times prayed to these luck wafer, to this luck, luck wafer. I stutter on all of these. At moments of big change in their lives, flowers do bring to mind new beginnings. So it makes sense. We all want to blossom, do we not? And lastly, this one might establish some canon here. What does he have to say? Expression Hider. This clever contraption is meant to be used when you don't want to reveal your emotions. Stand behind it and it will render every expression on your face unre unreadable. Its blank eyes and straight li lips will keep your innermost feelings safe from prying eyes. Okay. They want the safe route. Do drop by. I'm very lonely. Not looking at the moon. And now we have you to talk to. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a long episode. Uh, dog, could you go away? Thank you. My name is Dalmo. The moment I heard about the creatures of this planet, I knew I had to come learn more about them. I dream of compiling everything we learn about the ecology of each fierce little darling here into some kind of field guide. If I hadn't gotten stranded, imagine how many cute little creatures I would have encountered by now. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them and haven't laid eyes on a single one. Wait! You must encounter all kinds of creatures on your explorations. Please, tell me everything about them. Naturally, I'll prepare a token of my gratitude. Anything to learn about more of these sweet... Feral Muffins. Wow! You've done this much already. You're not to be underestimated, are you? Wonderful. So many cute patooties. You must keep telling me about them. Find patooties. Oh boy! I'm... let's go line by line here, and not just spend 40 minutes reading about the wonderful creatures of this game. <sighs> a miniature reflection of an a, a mature Bulborb. When you see this little mimic stomping around on its stubby legs, you'll fall in love with the, the remarkably clever beastie. Such a skill, tiny trickster, could mislead anyone. It's one to be adored. It has wide, googly eyes and protruding stalks. Its mouth, a mouth meant to swallow prey in one large gulp. And a powerful, red and white polka-dotted hindquarters. It's fierce, and yet it's somehow quite endearing. Be wary of getting lured in by its disarming mean. I don't know what mean, mean, mean means, actually. And they continued the scientific names and the families. Yes! This game, so far, does not disappoint. Wait. Oh, we, I guess we did encounter them. Ahem. 
a toddling infant that anyone would love, with the body and delicate skin of a newborn. This cute little button is sensitive to all stimuli. Whether you do it, whatever you do around it must be done slowly, gently, and quietly. As adorable as this baby is, you might be tempted to embrace it. But don't. You could squish the fragile darling. You'll recognize it by its plump, bottle-shaped torso and round, bright red mouth. Have you ever seen such an adorable creature? But no matter how cute it seems, when observing this feces, you had best remain behind it. Otherwise, you could end up in its path when it spews a gout of flame and get cooked right up. What's that? A snowy blowhog. You think the different types of blowhogs all look the same? You need to look a bit closer. For example, this little fellow has light yellow eyes, an aquamarine body with turquoise lips and blue nails. It all comes together to create a unique appearance, designed to give anyone the chills. This little one's primary food source is the secretions from ambulorides like Pikmin. To fill the bellies of so many shear grubs, there must be a healthy population of ambulorid uh, a ambulorides. Dices? Dicus. Ambulorodicus creatures in the world. It's through shear grubs like this that we get a glimpse of the hidden secrets of the planet. And that's where we'll leave this. And we'll go through a line per episode. Let's not get crazy here. How could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready to take another look. Bye. Keep an eye on him, Ochi. Okay, Jeff. Let's see what you're made of, Jeff. Ah, don't give me that look. You can handle some extra credit work, Jeff. Check out every inch of this planet till you've explored each area 100%, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. What is over here? Are there more treasures that we can get? What is the purpose of exploring out here? Is this just for sightseeing? Are there caves? That's not collectible. What is the purpose? I mean, oh, uh, the pur real purpose is probably having more captains laying about. But is that the only purpose? It's such a pleasure to speak with you. Oh wait, it's Francois. I am Francois, botany specialist and enthusiast. Are you a plant lover too? For years, I've been working on two-way communications between planets and, well, us. I think Pikmin might be the key. Is that it? <laughs> Kindness, that is why I love planets and Pikmin. Or <laughs> plants. The kind. They listen when you are, when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. And who wouldn't want a friend like that? There'd be so much less sadness in this world if everyone could befriend a, a Pikmin. For the good of civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin. Help me with this task for the token of my thanks. So far. Hi there, how's it going? Are you helping those Pikmin get their blue mod? Cause my stone collection just keeps getting bigger. So you keep up your end of the deal and get those Pikmin blooming. <laughs> I've created the new item! Oh, yeah. A bomb so powerful it can destroy reinforced walls. Just be careful to not get caught in the blast zone. Well, 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 you mastered buff. I knew you could do it. Ochi, 
that means I'm giving you permission to learn an even more powerful skill. It's called steroids for dogs. <laughs> That's insane. All right. Good Keep morning. up the good work and remember no slacking unless you do, in which case you probably earned it. We're all set over here. The bagel can take off whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Which area would you like to explore? I wouldn't like to explore the Sun Speckled Terrace, but that's where we're going. Because a challenge has stared us in the face since the beginning, and I think... Ugh. I hope I'm ready for it. Let's put our Dandori to the ultimate test. Goodbye, dog and child who is named differently than all of us. What, what on earth is a Jeff anyway? It's a stupid name. But bless his heart. He's, he's our Jeff, whatever that means. I have one, and only one objective for today. Cross... the water. Jeff, come in, over! Ochi has never really liked getting wet, but I've been working on it with him in the bathtub aboard the USS... Sorry, not USS. Wow, I'm American. The SS Cafeteria. And last night, he had a big breakthrough. Your rescue pup can swim now. Oh. Now that he's over his dislike of water, he can jump in and use doggy paddle to swim through any water obstacle. Get on Ochi's back with the Pikmin, and you can ride across bodies of water to explore new areas. Alrighty. Now, as you might have seen before oh boy I have um, I have some new abilities but if I cut that out if future pal decided that that was the best course of action then let me tell you about the changes the first um, yeah I'll take out ice Pikmin yeah we'll do that first and foremost there is I now have an idle counter very useful. Awesome feature. What is going on? Get back in the water. You're not you're not ready for that yet. Uh secondly, Ochi has gotten buff. Watch this. He can carry 10 now. Huge jump. He's kind of he's kind of crazy now. Uh what other Oh yeah, other upgrades? Uh, shortcut settings. Let's reassign this to Bomb Rock, because I now have Bomb Rocks. I need to remember that I have this, so I don't accidentally just take out a Bomb Rock and kill everyone, but uh, it should be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's okay. Uh, otherwise, I think that's... that's it. <sighs> but it really doesn't need to be much more than that. My goal today... is to see what lies across. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Where is this thing? I need to take a right. Yeah, that. That's my goal today. Let's let's go. I'm nervous for this. So, I mean, I've mentioned it every episode, so how could, you know, you not be aware, but So help me if I can't get up there. Can I not get up there? Really? Really? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Go back to base real quick. Ah! I wasted so much time. My Dandori isn't ready. Not my Dandori. No! Uh, let's get some... Let's get some ice. Oh, ah, my dead Dory, no. Get back in there and get out. Yes, I'm sorry, Pikmin, that your your leader has such an awful Dandori. 
Certainly now we can do it. Watch, I freeze the ice and it doesn't mean anything. I just can't get up there. That would be awful. To wait, have wasted all of this time. Go. Oh wait, I need to get off. Go. And then I can jump on him and have the high ground to get on. Oh my word. Yeah, get. How did that not work? That was really weird. I don't like that. Could that be one of those leaflings that Dingo was talking about? I'm pretty sure that's the one I- the one I saw had a bigger nose. This one doesn't have a nose. It can't breathe. Dandori. Dandori. Only one thing to do now. We gotta catch him. Call, uh, Jeff. Jeff, we're, we're gonna catch him. Go catch him, Jeff. Go do it! You coward, Jeff? Are you coward? Your Pikmin cannot join you. Uh, how, how I get? Hold up, how, how, how do the get? Can I not get? I really don't want to call them because they'll drown. But I, I get the option to reassign my Pikmin, right? I'm really worried about this. Enter? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I... What? It looks like the Pikmin don't want to go with you. Ah, well, then it'll just be the... What is happening? It'll just be the two of you, Ochi and Jeff. Oh. Well, at least it, it didn't matter that I couldn't take the Ice Pikmin, because I can't take any Pikmin. I was real worried before, and now I'm super worried. Dandori level one, what if I can't do it? What if my Dandori isn't big enough? This place is for testing Dandori. Do more Dandori. Improve Dandori. Simple goal, carry as much as you can until time ends. That is all. I may look happy, but I'm not at all. Treasure here, all fake. You cannot carry home. Pikmin here, all mine. Also can't take home. This means... Can Dendori forever. This is bliss for me and for you. Do well, get raw material. Do not well, also get raw material. Your wish to take me from here. Show me your best, Dendori. Ready? Start. Nothing is real. I'm scared. This is awful. Die. One, two, three. Swarm. Time saver, time saver. Yeah, cool. I couldn't spread them all anyway. Uh, dog. I just upgraded you in preparation for this. Go. Go. Joke's on you guys. I am a master. Uh, I'll lose Pikmin if I attack him. So I'm going to kill, kill, kill. Kill both of them. I now have enough Pikmin. Uh, I would drop down there. I don't want to do that yet. So, let's... This doesn't count. It's not real. It's not real. None of this is real. It's fine. Does not count. Nothing you saw here is real. That... If it was, then I'd be a lot more careful. So, chill. We're fine. Uh, careful where to work from... Yeah, that's fine. I, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm a master. My Dandori is immense. This is a weird dude. Uh, let's meet fire with fire. Get ready to charge him. Boom! I should kill him. Or not. Come on. He's dead. He's dead. Make sure they, they, they don't die. Die. Cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, do I need to escort you the rest of the way, or are you fine? I am losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Get off the dog. Uh, you get that. 
you come with me, come with me. I can do this. I can do this. I have limited time. You get that. Uh, you guys get that. I know that's weird, but I'm trying to get all the above. I have two minutes left. Oh, I should have destroyed that. My Dandori! No! My Dandori! That's fine. It's fine. Watch. Watch, watch, watch. Watch this. Got him. Swarm. Oh, my word. I'm losing everything. It's all going. Get this. Get the, get the wall. Get the wall. Get the wall, dog. Oh, my word, the dog. I hate the dog. Ah! Get it! I have two minutes left. And a lot to... A lot to finish here. Okay. Good, 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 good. Oh, I should have gotten that. No! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm not ready for the dead Dory. My dead Dory is awful. I... Mm, mm, this is not good. This is not good. I've wasted so much time. My dead Dory is incomplete. That's ha not happening properly. Please pull this out. Come on! Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, the dog's with me again. Swarm him on that. One, two, three. Swarm. They'll come with me. Swarm. Oh, my word. This is not working. I... There's too big of a cluster here. Swarm. Swarm. I'm so worried. Dog. This is no time to tarry. Uh, Pikmin, Pikmin, Pikmin. You guys go on that. You go on the bulwark. Oh, snap. There's a... There's a ramp! Dog, get over here. Uh, actually, dog, get on that. I have 12 Pikmin. I should be able to carry anything. Oh, my word. Ah, no! This is absolutely, absolutely a disaster. Dog, go. I'm not ready. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, I'm doing it. I'll definitely do it. But in time? I doubt it. Dog, get that. One, two, three. What am I missing? What am I missing? Do I have a map? I'm gonna go back and swarm that, that thing of treasure. I can do it. Get out of my way, dog! I might be able to do it. Go! <sighs> that could have gone a lot better. There were so many things that were right in front of my face. <sighs> you work too fast. I feel dizzy. Take these 30 pieces of raw material. This is your reward. Oh my, they fainted. Or they dead. Quick, get the lime so they don't spoil. Well, I guess this is our chance to get them out of here. Um, I'm just gonna take a swig of my coffee and hazelnut liquor um, with cayenne in it as I contemplate my decisions and <clears throat> my transgressions. Pardon? With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter. It is our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Let's keep the lid closed as a percussion. <sighs> sure. That could have gone so much better. I have the skills that I could have perfected that. But I didn't. And so I'll take my losses, because that is how... Oh, snap. Uh... Wait. Are they gonna dr... Wait, 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 I forgot it took 20. Man! My Dendori can't catch a break. You guys aren't gonna die, right? 
Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We're fine, we're fine. Let's, um, let's move base a little bit closer. Yeah, I know that, dummy. That was close. The Pikmin had to jump on to the dog. Which is a risk I need to be mindful of. Move base. Oh, good. Cool. I shoved them. Uh, let's fix this. And again, as has been my mantra, don't let my first mistake dictate my second. So I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I made a mistake. I didn't lose any Pikmin. Doesn't really count. It. it it's a different, um, it's just a different skill set in those Dandori battles. It, it's different. So, I'll just keep on keeping on, learn, and improve. Now, we have three quarters of a day left. Uh, yeah, let's, let's throw some Pikmin on that. I need some more resources. There's also a paper bag there. Uh, we can make some real progress in, in this area. Oh, is that the yellow un- wait, what is that? Flarlick? I just can't get over the fact that they have had leaves growing out of their head, and their face is all, well, bushy. Let us check their ID info. Error. PNF 404. Un unable to read data. Come on. What's this? Unable to read data. They should have biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. How are we supposed to find out who this is? Oh boy, how indeed. It's almost as if they were born on this planet. Also, is that yet another yellow onion? How? Yeah, uh, uh, exactly my thoughts, Colin. Yeah, you guys can do that. I color me, well, Color me yellow, ha, <laughs> cause it's an onion that's yellow. Uh, color me confused though. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Okay, now I need to, I need a bit of a refresher. In fact, um, drone time? What? Ah! There we go. <laughs> what are we trying to do here? Oh. We could fix our mistake. Let's go do that. I like that idea. That's right close too. Is there anything else that's very obvious that we can do now that we have blue Pikmin? I don't think so. I'm also probably making you guys sick with this, so I'm sorry. Can I get the pumpkin? Yeah, let's get the pumpkin and then go practice our Dandori. I like that idea. Uh, sure, let's honestly just to get rid of the clutter. Nice. And yeah, you can do that too. I don't mind. I'm also very curious. Oh wait, I can just leave because I have a dog. I love the dog. I hate the dog. But I love the dog. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. Uh, I don't know what conclusions you could get from what I just said from that awesome. sentence, but I, something. Is something wrong? It sucked up the onion, but nothing's happening. Looking at the life signs, inside the onion, there are, are 20 more Pikmin than before. As long as we already have an onion of the same color, a new one just gets turned into nutrients. Isn't that kind of bad for a species' survival, though? That seems... That doesn't seem great. Uh, go to base, please. Die? You all die. I need- I need to remember that I'm still... I need to tr I need to treat Pikmin like it's Dark Souls now. Because now that it's getting harder... It's actually getting kind of like, nightmarishly harder. Uh, sure. Because, like, it, it's getting- it's getting to the point where they're taking off the gloves for normal players. But I'm not a normal player. I'm a player essentially trying to do a no-death run. Uh, I'm kind of waiting on this, so I'm gonna- I'll send a couple. Oh, I see that- I'm so scared. I saw that red minus, I was like, oh no, I lost Pikmin, but it's fine. Um, uh, well... Yeah, unpause. Man, I love, this feature's really good. Uh, I need to consider the water there. 
There's some resources there. So I could take blue Pikmin. I think that's probably what I'll have to do. And there's a cave too, but that that's going to be probably another day's task. Why? I, the captains are so annoying to me. Oh my word. Him, the captains are saying get them as though the, it, Ochi's in combat, and obviously, obviously he's not. He's literally looking at butterflies. And, but these stupid captains are like, oh, is are are you having a great battle there, mate? Are you going to die? It's like, no, calm down. At a certain point, flavor text just becomes a little bit annoying, and th this is definitely a case of it. They're carrying that back. We're going to deal with that in a moment. I'm going to skirt this because I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to ride the dog because it makes my reaction time slower. Weird downside I didn't expect. Uh, do I need yellows for this? Yeah, I do, actually, because they did that awesome thing that a lot of games do where they paint a surface that's relevant with some color coding. Ooh, that's a lot of Pikmin required here. But thankfully, because we have Ochi, it's no big problem. And then... Blue Onion! Blue Onion! Ah, that kind of changes everything! Ah, that's... that's... Do we have to return here? Do... What do we do? I mean, I... You know what, let's, let's go over this way. Let's go over this way, trigger this, and not waste time. Uh... But I need that Blue Onion. Uh oh. Red alert, we have another castaway, and there's a leafling too. It may be the leafling that attacked Dingo. Dingo. Be careful now. Yeah, that's definitely them. Uh, Colin, um, that's the one that attacked me, Colin. Which means that that could be Bernard on the ground next to him. Colin, could you tell that to Jeff? Colin. The dog. Whoever it is, we just can't let him get turned into a leafling. Uh, follow him, Jeff. Uh, Colin, could you tell Jeff to follow them? Make sure you say Jeff after the end. They're really important. Colin. Colin! I wonder if I could throw Pikmin over there. And if I did, where would they go? I could probably throw Blues. In fact, let's see if I can do that real quick. Let's see if I can kind of cheat this. Granted, there is a fiery blow blowhog over there that, you know, obviously, that's that's a little bit scary. Apparently, I don't have all of them on me. Uh, I need... Ooh, I don't have 20. Let's give it a shot. I mean, what, what can... What harm can come of it? I'm wondering if... Man, that's very specific. Also, if we lost Pikmin, I don't know how that would have been handled. Because, obviously, we need to... We need to be able to carry that, that onion. And if we lost a bunch of blues, how do we get them? How does this game handle extinction, actually, when we don't have any colors? 20. So we can't get it. We can throw Pikmin to it, but we can't get it. Certainly there might be blues over there somewhere. Very weird. Let's redeem ourselves. By ourselves, I mean myself. Jeff versus Leafling, which... I'm not going to beat around the bush. That's Olimar. Olimar died on this planet. That's crazy. Let's go down. Let's fix what I got wrong. Ah, uh, what's going on here? It seems like the exact same thing they did the last time you encountered a leafling. Good luck. Maybe take a gun down there. I don't know. You have a gun, Jeff? You seem like the kind that would carry maybe a bazooka or rocket launcher. Dandori level one, which granted, I made that a lot more difficult than it should have been. Let's not panic. Let's handle this methodically and improve our Dandori. What is this place? I guess we can figure that one out later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. He has an onion, too. Am I gonna have to kill him? 
Maybe I did need the gun. I see them over there. Uh oh. Also, that's a pink onion. What? Well, what in the world? Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves, they will thrive. You, skin having one, do you believe you do not need the leaves? I will test your abilities to see if this is true. I don't want to be turned into a Pokemon! I invite you to face me in a Dandori battle. I have provided the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Find objects and transport them back to your base within the time limit. To win, collect the highest total of combined weight. If you do- if you wish to retrieve your... Castaway, prove that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Now, the Dandori battle begins. It's so weird having a split screen when it's just me. Okay, I've never been good at battles, but I've- I have been good at Pikmin. Olimar is using 100% of his power. I have to use a hun- a hundred and one percent of mine. Because I have been Olimar. Okay, how are we want to do this? The split screen is really wigging me out. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Let's save... Let's grab the strawberry. Uh, swarm? Whoa! What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Uh, jump? Watch this. Die! Yeah. You know what? That's- that's gonna be the name of the game here. Resource Denial. Come on, Pikmin! Come on! Yeah. Are you gonna attack me? No? No? You're not? You're not? You're not? Okay. Okay then. Alright. I'm gonna attack you. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I've got- I'm gonna let him do all the work! That, I think, is a good strategy. Yeah, he's... He's not attacking me. I'll do all... I'll do all the work here. Come on. Yeah, you bet. You bet it is. And you take this, Ochi. <laughs> he's not gonna get a single point. I guess he has eight points already. Come on, Pikmin. Uh, one, two, three. Go! Drag him back. Come on! Wait, I might have to let him have that one. Yeah, I'll say it's going pretty well. Uh, jump on. Come on. Whoa, why is there a blue hog? Yeah, let's take this. And Ochi. Uh, no, no, no. Get on that. Don't let him have it. Where are my Pikmin? Come on. Carry it. Yeah, nice try. Nice try, Elmar. Yeah, you fight that blowhog. I'll be back with more. That is my blowhog. Have fun. Have fun not getting a single point. Uh, I have 20 carrying that. Ochi, uh, man, I... Oh, no, he, he's just starting on it. Perfect, come on. He's gonna get the strawberry, that's okay. One minute left, I'll focus on this, I'll focus on this. Yeah, you better be scared. You better be scared. Red Pikmin doesn't really matter, this is a... This is a time waster, not a... Not an actual threat. Get off him. Get that two. Get that three. Oh, these are mine. Okay, I got them. Uh, what else can I snipe from him while I'm at it? That. One, two, three, four, five. Make them go faster. Can I even get that? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't get that first. Oh, wait, 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 no, no. I got it. I, I got time. Perfect. Go! I can get that in 10 seconds. 
I can get that in 10 seconds. Carry that faster, come on, three seconds, three seconds, two, one. It didn't count, but it's the principle of the thing. Take that, Olimar. That's a hundred, 180 roll reversal. I sucked at the beginning, and I crushed him at the end. Get wrecked, Olimar. The strength of your Dandori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. The dog. The evil dog. They just left? Who in space and time was that? Well, whoever they are, they left some food behind. Also, your Dandori is magnificent. I'm jealous. If only we all could have a Dandori like yours. Unfortunately, mine is injured. I landed on it. Huh? They really are growing leaves out of their head. They seem to be suffering from the same condition as that leafy individual you just challenged. Transport them back to the SS Bagel right away. How do I want to do this? Uh, I, I got time. I got time. I'll take out all my blues and then the rest of my ice. And... One, two, three. I'm going to try to get that uh, that onion. I don't know if I can, but I have more than enough time to do it, right? And my Dandori is on fire right now. 30. Yes. Go. Freeze. Perfect. Now, what can I do with this? I can swarm that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Go get that. I, I'm going to move the base closer, which I need to do it real quick. Ah, move. Yes. How long does it take them to reroute? Part immediately. Yeah. Cool. Pikmin are so smart in this game. I mean, almost everything is just kind of crazy. Oh, I can jump that maybe? I can. Um. Sure. I'll wait for this to get done, whatever this is. Climbing wall. Oh. Why? Why can I climb that when I can just jump up here? Oh! That's why! It's the only way to get up! Okay... That's... really weird. Oh, of course this. Another leafy castaway. Hopefully their ID would tell us something. Also, I'm an idiot. Give me a second. Error. PNF-404. Unable to read data. No luck. Could the leaves be causing this error? Okay. Let's get this blue onion. Because I know I can. I'm kind of dumb. I'm just a little bit dumb, guys. It's okay. Come on. I need 20 Pikmin, which I think I have exactly that. And if not... If not, I can make sure I do. Get... No, get... You remember when I said that Pikmin are smart? I take that back. They're not actually smart at all. Oh, my word. Stop locking onto things! Stop! Oh, my word. I'm going to not be able to do this because my Pikmin are stupid. <laughs> my Pikmin are smart. My Pikmin suck. They're awful. I did it! Ah! I, I already know... Oh, my word. Stop fixating on that. Don't kill my Pikmin. Oh my word! What? No! Why? Okay, this is actually murdering me. Dog, stop locking onto everything. I'm trying to throw Pikmin up there. And I don't want to jump in the geyser. I don't want to deal with the berries. I just want to go up this wall, which I guess my Pikmin might have been able to come up. They didn't do the first time, so I don't know why they why they didn't. Why? And now they won't lock on! 
This is, oh my word. This is actually killing me. Okay, you do that. Lock on again. Freeze him the rest of the way. Alright. Kill. Murder. Destroy. Exterminate. This... Man, that really... That... I mean, I, I got the onion. Make no m bones about it. I got the onion, but man, was that painful. <sighs> could there be one for every Pikmin type? This is... crazy. I... Who could have seen this coming? My word, that was frustrating. Uh, especially immediately after I said that Pikmin are smart. They're... The game tries to do a lot of your... your... aiming your lock-on for you, and for the most part, it's great about it. Like, when I aim at a pool of nectar, it will prioritize throwing, or swarming, the... the leaf Pikmin first. And that's great. It's great when I just barely miss aiming at something and I get... and it locks onto it. Sweet. Bulborbs, dwarf bulborbs are easy, as opposed to other games where you had to kind of line them up and there was somewhat a skill element. But, that is the nightmare decision, where I think what they wanted me to do is actually just have my Pikmin in my group and climb up the wall. Which, to be fair, that's on me for not doing. But, when a player comes up with a different solution that was fine, passable, the game, because they look at an area and are like, these are the things you're probably going to want to do in this area. So you will jump onto the geyser every time you are remotely near it, or you will throw your Pikmin looking at them, will quote-unquote whistle them to you even though you didn't whistle them. That's the point where it's like... It, it breaks down. And it's it's not great. It's part of why I didn't like... Or I don't like some of these mechanics that are like, Hey, we got you. We're gonna make things easy for you. Uh, I'm actually gonna... I'm actually not gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up. And I'm going also to test this wall theory. And I can get that 20 up there. Or 10? I think it's a 10. Will the Pikmin go as well? They will. Yeah, so I could have just done this. But it, it's my solution. <laughs> Darn it. And so, of course, I'm, you know... You can't... You can't hold the player's hand that much. Uh, command. Gather Pikmin. And I'm going to look at my map right now. Make sure there are no Pikmin loose other than these. Because there are the 20 there... And then we're good there. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. This is taking forever. I'm proud of us. We got a lot done. Ochi, good boy. Good boy. We got a lot done. We got, uh, I mean, essentially a new color of Pikmin, which is great. We're doing very well. And I think some of the minutia of things that have gone wrong has kind of gotten in my head. But, in reality, this has gone exceedingly well. We've rescued two captains. We have still yet to lose a Pikmin. We're fine. We're fine. I think I just got in my own head a bit. Uh, let's... How do I do this? Disband... No. Uh, disband all but the blues. And then, we're just gonna grab, uh, we're just gonna grab this. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's the other thing I got. I, I didn't mention that. I, again, I probably showed this. Uh, the Scorch Guard. I, I'm now immune to fire. So there... I have that too. Uh, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. No idle Pikmin. Cool. I mean, this day, honestly... The res... The, the means with which I reached the end were questionable. And if you really want to split hairs, I did lose Pikmin, but my total did not go down. And I guess that's going to be the true test. If my total went- if it says I lost Pikmin, even though I lost them in the Dandori segment, then, I mean, we're gonna have to split hairs for my no death run. But, if I didn't, or if those didn't count, then I'm fine. And I've kind of went into it thinking that I was going to play very cavalier and just kind of throw my weight around because it said it wouldn't count. So if it lied to me, then I'll be a little bit upset. 
I like seeing that. I like seeing the captains welcoming me. Two leaflings, whatever that means. How, what are, are they going to have to go to therapy? I mean, they, they also don't have space helmets on, so they are fully part of this planet. I also love their design for some reason. I just think it's really funny. They have leaves grown out of their head. So odd. There, are there is poisonous oxygen in this planet's atmosphere. They shouldn't be able to survive without their helmet. As the disembodied godly voice that <laughs> talks about our Dandori said earlier, something very strange is going on. Something strange is afoot at the Circle K. Only two treasures, but let not this result confuse you, because the only result that matters is right there. Zero Pikmin lost. 84% completion on the Sun Speckled Terrace, which means I can probably finish it out in one day, because I, I, I did see there was another cave. We finally have blue onions, so the, the original cast, they're fully operational. And I think we're in good shape. Should we discuss the castaway with leaves growing out of their head? This has to be what Dingo was talking about when he told us about the leaflings. That's right. That castaway could be our pilot. It'd be easier to know for sure if not for all the leaves. I think we should burn them off. That would probably help. And while we're at it, we could ingest some of the smoke fumes and see for science if they are beneficial to our mood maybe if we did if we go maybe we'll get more information after they're examined by our doctor maybe but first we need to find him for now let's just stick him in a pot put bury him in dirt and then water them and then maybe smoke them later I used to do drugs after all I mean I still do but I used to too That was a little bit of a train wreck. I'm not gonna lie. But again, you can't speak with the result. And that second Dandori battle, I smoked him. And that's a great sign of things to come. See you guys in the morning.